get started a little bit earlier. Get down quicker. Fine. Well, thank you all for coming. I hope you all enjoyed yourself. I hope the meal was good. I think pretty soon we'll get the kitchen staff out here and the ladies and uh, thank them. I believe it was, okay, there she goes. <laughs> we'll get started here and then when they come out, why, we'll interrupt. Um, it was uh, a real good deal. I'm, I'm real proud of the, the meal we got. One of the first people that I have to introduce is uh, my wife, Doris. <laughs> Doris done a lot of work on this here, so uh, we appreciate it. Okay, here we go. We got we got the ladies coming out here. Want to thank you, ladies, for uh, doing an awesome job on our meal. We very much appreciate it. Okay, I would like to introduce the rest of my staff, and if you'll kind of hold your applause until we get done, it'll uh, maybe it'll go quicker. Rick and Brenda Kissler, who are our assistant district directors. Yay! And our uh, other set of district directors are Bill and Sarah Watts. And Bill, I don't know, he escaped. There he comes. All right, there he's back there. <laughs> okay, uh, our newsletter uh, editor, uh, district educator, Event coordinator and patch lady, Bill and Sir, uh, Bill and Sheila Tucker. <laughs> These folks wear a lot of hats and they do a lot of work for us. We very much appreciate it. Assistant writer education, Rick Stevens. <laughs> Assist another assistant writer education, Mar Bears. <laughs> And our district treasurer is Judy Eggleston. There's Judy right here. Our district trainers, and these folks are brand new, Mark and Linda Clausen. And also, our district membership enhancement coordinator is Mark and Linda Clausen. He wears two hats, it takes a lot to cover up that ball man. <laughs> and uh, our motorist awareness coordinator is Steve Terry Bockhouse. Oh, our district webmaster, Dale and Georgiana Trish. Our district historian is Brenda Kissler. Our district couple of the year coordinators, David and Sharon McDonald. Uh, our district vendor coordinator, Kathy Chestnut. Okay, a reigning, reigning, a reigning district couple of the year is Bill and Sarah Watts. Uh, our Frank Patton Award recipients for 2015 and 2016 is Terry and Judy Mann. Our district medic first aid instructors are Steve and Terry Bockhouse trainers, Jack and Doris Sheck trainers, Marv Ayers instructor, and Bill Tucker instructors. <laughs> district motorcycle instructors, Bill Tucker, Rick Stevens, and Bob Brown. Okay, our chapter directors, uh, when I call your name off, if you want to stand up and uh, if you have an announcement or something, make, make me a quick announcement. Chapter A, Joe and Debbie Gatney. <laughs> Chapter B, uh, Joe and Pam Magnet from DeSoto. <laughs> KSC, Don and Brenda Williams. Uh, 
KSF is Everett and Carol Chastain from El Dorado and they live in Howard. Uh, KSH is Terry and Judy Mann Hutchison. KSP is David and Sherry McDonald in Derby. And they live in Douglas, Kansas. And last but not least is KSQ, Jack and Teresa Kistler from Winfield, and they live in Udall. Okay, uh, we have some uh, region staff here. Um, Jim and Barry, Reba Barry is our region director. They're uh, not here tonight. The, the folks that we have here, uh, our assistant di uh, district, our region director is Stephen Belly Fleming. Their educators are Ricky and Karen Frazier. They were here, but uh, they had to go home. Their house is being flooded, so they had to leave in a hurry. Uh, our treasurers, Ed and Ann Nall. Motors for Awareness coordinators, Mike and Becky Stevenson, and I believe they're here. There we go. Back here. And our district tra our region trainer is uh, Jack Wagner. Yeah. And that's the man. He is uh, Deputy Central States Deputy Director. We're proud to have him here. Uh, Region Couple of the Year, Randy and Kathy Reese from Texas. Thanks for coming, folks. Uh, let's see. Vendor coordinator is Ricky, I mean Ruby Steele, and webmaster is Sam Belanowski. Um, got to read my instructions here. Okay, we have uh, Johnny and uh, Gina Friedman. They left. They left. Okay, left or you know if I'd read my notes, it'd tell me that too. <laughs> Okay, and then uh, Red and Brenda Russell from uh, Louisiana. All right. Chapter C, we have Gary and Susie Drake. 
from Chapter F, we have John and Karen Glaves. From Chapter H, we have Marv and Tony Ayers. From Chapter P, we have Rick and Carolyn Stevens. And from Chapter Q, we have Bill and Sheila Tucker. We'd also like to recognize our Region H couple, Steve and Carolyn Cotton, that will be going to Wingding this year. We need to support these people at Wingding. Thank you, guys. And we have our current Region H couple, Randy and Kathy Reese. Now we'd like to ask for everyone that's ever been a chapter couple, Region couple, district couple, please stay. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sharon and Sharon and David. Uh, I think next on my list is Doris. He's laughing. He's laughing. First of all, I would like to thank everybody that. No, I don't need any spoons. Thanks. But thanks for offering. Um, anybody that taught a class or did anything, I want to thank all of you. And there's several people that normally we don't have, and I would like to thank John Glaves took care of the popcorn for us. This that you got is compliments of John. He goes around El Dorado and they just give it to him. I don't even think he has that. So thank you, John. We appreciate that. And his wife, Karen, is the one that ran our bingo for us. And so I think all of you are taking notes. But anybody else that helped in any way, and I don't care how you helped, whether you were a volunteer for the on-bike games or, or rider it or whatever, anybody that helped that volunteered, please stand up. Any of you that help? Thank you. Everyone of you, thank you. And while I'm up here, I would like to remind everybody, um, tomorrow morning at 8.30, for those of you that stay and want to attend, in the Gemini room, which is behind the registration tables out here, over on this side, if you walk down that hall, there's a little room called the Gemini room. We're going to have a devotional service in the morning at 8.30 for those that would like to participate. So I want to let you know before everybody got gone. Okay, he's told me to do it. Um, Next up would be Rider Education for Bill Tucker, and he will have his people come with him, I believe. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. You are awake. I thought because you ate so darn much food and it was so good, you went to sleep on us. But you didn't. Before we get into the writer ed, there's a couple things I want to bring up. <clears throat> Excuse me. How many of you, sometime during the rally, had participation tickets given to you? <laughs> everybody? I would hope so. I hope everybody participated. The reason why you got those participation tickets is that we had a person that did nothing but walk around with those things for two days. Brenda, stand up! Where's mine? <laughs> also, as some of you know, maybe some of you don't, uh, Chapter H is the host chapter for this uh, rally, and I think they did an outstanding job. And they ran the poker run 
so that Ryder Ed didn't have to do it. Well, Chapter H, please stand up. Be recognized for your hard work. We appreciate you. Thank you very, very much. At the Level 4 breakfast, we had 49 people in attendance, and we were very happy to be able to announce that we had six from our rally in September, which, is, as you know, is a very short turnaround. We have six brand new Level 4s come aboard with us, and we're really thrilled about that. All from Chapter H. Yeah. Well, you said all you're going to say, sit down. <laughs> Stay <laughs> we had uh, uh, two seminars, the Motorist Awareness and uh, the uh, new and inexperienced riding and not riding with them or throwing rocks at them or whatever Rick was teaching in there. But a total of attendance of our seminars was 52. We had an excellent uh, turnout for the on-bike games after the Twisters. Uh, and the Twisters, how about those Twisters, huh? Uh, we had uh, 11 bikes and 22 people go through that, and we'll be giving out some money here in just a minute. Um, we had seven on the poker run. We had 17 that actually rode the poker ride, and I don't know how many just bought in. I don't have those numbers. Uh, they weren't provided to me, but we did have 17 that did take that ride. So. Uh, and then in the light parade last night, I apologize. Who were the two winners? Are they in here? We had we should have two twenty-five dollar winners. Are they in here? Nobody got their names. There's one over there. Okay. Okay. Well, anyway. Yeah, no, we're not talking the light show. Um, I don't have the names of those. Yeah. <laughs> that, <that's... clears throat> okay, I, I have um, the winners for the um, on bike games and the winners for the uh, poker hand. And I'm going to turn it over to these two gentlemen, my able bodied assistants. Oh, both bigger than me, and that's why they're still on staff. <laughs> okay, here you go. Who's going first? And second place 
went to Brad and Sherry Thompson. This is the on bike games for the trike, and it 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 hurts me to to award this. <laughs> it, it it does because I've. I've known this man for quite some time now. He gets lost going to the bathroom. <laughs> but he recalculates and ends up in the laundry room. That's why their hampers smell so bad. But Terry and Judy Mann won first place. your rally next year and put on her performance. Okay? All right. You, you say you were sleeping with her? Okay, I think I better get down from here before I say something. That, fortunately, she's not in here, so I hey, I can stay up here all night. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Thanks for everything you did. the winners of the light show. There's one for non-moving and one for moving. The non-moving was Bill Ruth, Chapter E from Pennsylvania. Are you in here? And then the moving was Mike Hildebrand, Chapter H of King. about this little thing that we have here. I don't know if you saw this out on the registration table, but Sue Fox, a lot of you may know her, she's been our Tupperware lady that has followed us around from rally to rally, it seems like forever. They just found out that her 30-something year old son has got lung cancer stage four. He's got a six month old baby. Uh, I think he has some older children, but she is giving, this, this paper says, for one entry for $1, six entries for $5, or 15 entries for $10, when she pulls a name, she will give $100 worth of Tupperware to whoever name she pulls out of there. We didn't have very many people put those in there, but I have a whole raft of these. And if anybody wants to do that, we will do that for the rest of the evening. Or if you just want to give a donation, that's acceptable too. She did not ask us to do this. I know that one of the other states, and I want to think it was Louisiana, did this. Red's raising his hand back there. But we just thought maybe it was a way to support her because they're going to need all the prayers and support that we can give them. So if anybody is interested, this is what this is. Sarah will be in charge of this. If, if you want to wait until maybe afterwards, 
But if anybody wants to do that, Sarah will have it. Um, also, um, never mind. <laughs> Sorry. About that. Um, Debbie, did you want to say anything about the craft? No. There. Cool. They said you had five or six in the class? Good. Good. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Mark Clausen will be next with an MAC report and I believe the bingo report. I'm having fun. Is anybody else? Yeah. All right. All right. And uh, thanks, Red, but uh, I'm coming with my wife. <laughs> Uh, she's not going to pay for you. Uh, <laughs> I'll pay for your dog. Uh, <laughs> I got $10 to go towards it. <laughs> we had 11 show up uh, in the MHC class today. Uh, yes, it was yesterday. Today. 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 Uh, time's come. So thank you very much for that participation. We had a fantastic participation in bingo and made $88.50 in bingo alone. So that's true. And I get the mic. No, did, did anybody did anybody go to the zoo? Today. Poker run. Poker run. Poker run. Poker run. Poker run. Okay. Did, did you, were you able to see the reptiles? No. Do you know why? No. It's sort of a tough story to tell. But uh, they, had, uh, they had some chameleons in the reptile house. And these chameleons, you know, they're supposed to change colors. And they'd go over to red and dark turn red and go back to green. They put another color out there, yellow, start turning yellow, go back to green. And the zookeepers, they were just, just didn't know what was going on. So they sent them off to Kansas State and they tried to figure out what is wrong with our chameleons. Well, I got the report back from Kansas State and they had to shut down the reptile house because they found out they had Reptile dysfunction. <laughs> if you want to see the other half of me, I want to. I want to also say that uh, please come to the worship service tomorrow morning at eight thirty. You wouldn't believe who's leading it. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> okay, our next uh, contestant up here is uh, Jack Kessler. <laughs> Chapter F won the races, and we've got a little more money to hand out. Joe Boyle, $7.00. Uh, this paid seven to one, so that was a pretty good payoff. Gary Otler. Oler. Oh, Gary. Okay. Um, Eric Wadman. Wait, Wadman. Wadman. And Joe Mag Magnet. And Ellen Turner. Fourteen dollars for Ellen. That's all I've got. Who won the race last year? Who won the race last year? We did. Chapter F. Woohoo! Roslyn is our personal <laughs> race man. <laughs> Joe Gatby, I think you're next on the list with the, the bike show. Joe and Debbie. Joe and Chris. Did you really? Debbie, Debbie, you look a little 
Come on, baby, get up here. <laughs> Okay, we had uh, just going to get right into it. 1800 stock trike. He put them in his box. Oh, okay. Very <laughs> major.
thank you for everyone who participated. We had a real good turnout and uh, people this year. And I especially thank all the fine GWR people for giving us the support and enjoying our show. And up front here is the trophy that we won at uh, Regent State Rally in Marshall, Texas. So uh, it's a traveling trophy and we got it. <laughs> uh, Bill Watts, ride report. Where's Bill Tucker? And she, he's working back there. Well, I, hopefully this, he can hear me. This will make him feel a little bit better about uh, uh, Red and Sheila's arrangement that they worked out for Louisiana. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to talk about that, Red. <laughs> I want to see her reaction. Bill's coming out. I'm talking about Sarah. Bill, hopefully, what I'm about to tell you is going to make you feel just a little bit better about whatever it is that Red and Sheila might have going on. <laughs> Somehow, some way today, and I, I'm pleading the fifth on this. He's lying. But Red's, Red's wife, Brenda, ended up with my name tag. No, Red ended up with your name tag. Well, because he found well, Red found my name tag on Brenda. <laughs> I don't know how it got there. <laughs> but, uh, we, don't, we don't care. We don't care. <laughs> and, and you know what? And Red waited for the right opportunity to hunt me down when my wife was standing right there and bring it back to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we had two rides yesterday. We had a morning ride and we had an afternoon ride. The morning ride we left here and uh, went to Arlington, Kansas to Carolyn's Essen House. We took the long way around. Uh, collectively we had about 96 miles I think. Uh, that's that's a long way to get to Arlington and back, I can tell you that. <laughs> there, there are shorter ways to get there. But, you know, it's not a ride if you don't get out and enjoy it. Uh, and, and we did. And we had a great meal over there. Um, Nobody had any room for dessert except Glenn, and uh, and the piece of pie that he got, he could have actually shared it with. Uh, there were 17 bikes to so do the math. He could have shared it with all of us. It was that big. Wow. Uh, the afternoon ride, Dale, you ended up with what 16 bikes, and no problems on either one of these rides. They were fun, um, and we'll do those again. Thanks for your participation in those. Okay, next is Kathy Dip Chestnut. Before we get Jeff and Kathy, uh, Jack Wagner, do you have anything that you want to say? <laughs> Time's up. Too late. I'll never turn down a mic, you know that. <laughs> hey, did everybody have fun in Kansas? Amazing, amazing rally. Thank you, Kansas team, and thank you, Chapter 8. You guys have done a tremendous, tremendous job. I always enjoy coming to Kansas, and you've heard enough from me. <laughs> Thanks, Jack. Kathy Chestnut.
thank the vendors that I had. I think I had absolutely wonderful vendors. Yeah. If the vendors were here when I announced your name, I'd like you to stand so you can get your recognition. Great Plains. Hold your applause till the end, please. Accessories Pit. Sweet Pea, Beating Bun, Sharon Tootle, Young Essentials, Premier Jewelry, and Soil, and Shoe Systems. Okay, and we also had the Kansas Turnpike here too, but they I knew they weren't staying. But if you guys could all stand. Oh, yes, I'm sorry, Klondike too. And I knew he wasn't staying either. Is he? You, you come up with the most unusual time. Well, we had a vendor walk on Friday and Saturday. So, I appreciate you guys going out and doing that. I tried to hide the tickets as far so you couldn't find them, but it looks like you did. So, we're going to draw and uh, we'll give you some prizes. sleep when you're on the tribe. <laughs> I don't need to come on to sleep on the tribe. <laughs> Mary Hildebrand. Okay, this is a scarf from Cher Tootle for your Thank <laughs> you. 
Brad Thompson. This is Bug Release, and that is from Great Plains. That's so Sherry can clean the bike. You saw me. We'll go from the Saturdays now. Teresa Gold. Yeah. <laughs> 
These are earrings from Premier Jewelry. No, those are from Meany. Oh, oh is that, I'm sorry, from Meany? Those are from Meany. Okay, I'm sorry. Give me a... Jenny, you got to give them to us. John Ball. <laughs> you can have some earrings, John. <laughs> <laughs> this is a performance approver from Amsoil. Cooler, cooler. But, but no 
wedding day, he might put it around her neck. It's not an answer. <laughs> you can wear that on your ride. Brenda! I'm not pronouncing your name. Roselle. Hey, I'll bring it, Brenda. Stay uh, right there. <laughs> Brenda gets a helmet. I have I have three helmets. Accessory Pit has got one, and if you want to get with them, they will get you what you want. Get with accessory pit. The best for last. <laughs> Kathy Reese. <laughs> we have a motorcycle cover from Cycle Gear.
Okay, thank you, Kathy. Uh, got some uh, more things to give away here. Uh, you got this here. And uh, we gave the book away. And we also have a $300 gift certificate from Wing Bling. And this is, uh, this is the second time that they have done this for us. So uh, you ought to be able to get a little bit of nice light stuff or whatever to your bike. And we're going to draw that out of the, our tickets here. Participation. Participation tickets.
We have not decided where we're going to go, so it'll be announced. Okay. Next year's convention. We have not decided yet where we're going to go. And we it got several things that we got to pull together, so uh, we'll kind of have that to be announced a little bit later. I wanted to address the Frank Patton Award because normally at our state rally we give out that award, but since it's only been six or seven months since our last one, Terry and Judy Mann are our last recipients. They get to hold that title for at least another year. So that's why we have not one tonight because they, they wouldn't have gotten a full year. We didn't think that was fair. However, um, I would like to read the names of the people that have received that award since its inception. It started in 2003. The first people to get it were Stan and Ellie Dyer out of chapters, uh, Chapter P. The next were Max and Marie Bryant from Chapter E. And Max passed away, I believe it was, a couple of years ago this summer. Gary and Phyllis Van Buskirk, who are with us tonight, they got it in uh, 2005. They're from Chapter P. Ron and Judy Eggleston from Chapter Q got it in 2006. Chuck and Marilyn Powell got it in 2007 from Chapter A. In 2008 was Jerry and Carol Tinkler from Kansas P. 2009 was Gary and Susan Drake, which was Kansas S at the time. Gary and Becky Mangus in 2010 from Chapter Q. Jack and I got it in 2011, we're with Chapter F. Bill and Sheila Tucker got it in 2012 from Chapter Q. Jack and Teresa Kissler got it in 2013 from Chapter Q. 2014 was Rick and Brenda in, from Kansas F. And then in 2015 was Terry and Judy Mann. So we've had quite a few receive that award. Uh, I believe at uh, midwinter, Bill may, gave a, may give us a history on the Frank Patton. He's shaking his videos back there. So uh, he'll give you a history of how that started. And I think that brings us down to our 50-50 and our grand prize. And I believe Bill and Sarah are going to help us by drawing the tickets. We can give away other people's money. <laughs> Glad it's not your money. It's <laughs> not <laughs> fun. Okay, 50 50 for the first one is 25%, $161. Oh my gosh. How about number 15? Oh. <laughs> Louisiana. <laughs> Our next one is 50% and it is $97. It is ticket holder number 84. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that, you get an extra it's actually 107 now. <laughs> <laughs> Not from Louisiana. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I see okay, the next is 10% is $65. Oh, oh my wow, I thought it was mine. <laughs> 156. <laughs> Get excited. Woohoo! <laughs> 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 
Okay, uh, uh, let's go to let's go to three hundred dollars. He's going right for the gusto. First one, three hundred dollars. Three hundred dollars. Find out who the big winner is. Okay. <laughs>
that's, okay. that's gone by since she was diagnosed that Paul has not emailed me to check on Mary. So it started at the top, the love and the, and the uh, prayers and everything else starts at the top. You can't get any higher up than Paul. And, uh, and it's trickled down, so I just want to thank you so much. Okay, we have uh, some treats back here in the back. Uh, compliments of Sheila. Where, where did she go? Where they went? Okay, back, okay, back here in our room. Uh, if you want to go back to the she has all kinds of neat stuff for her to uh, pass out. You can, you also, if you want to, you can come back in here and eat your treats. I ain't got pie and everything else.